What's going on you guys? This is New York Adventure 1994 here and it is Monday April 17th 2023 and yesterday was Orthodox Easter and today is my mom's birthday and we spent the day celebrating it with her and Tonight marks the first night of the 2023 NHL playoffs. Tonight we had the Islanders playing the Carolina Hurricanes against the Carolina Hurricanes in Carolina. Yeah, the Hurricanes get the, get the home advantage because they had the better record and the better amount of points. So the Islanders played in Carolina tonight for game one and round one. And they lost two to one tonight, which which is a shame. And I think Boston's still leading the Panthers, I don't know. And now we have the Wild and Stars game. Believe it or not, the Dallas Stars used to be the Minnesota North Stars. So, it's new Minnesota playing against old Minnesota. The Dallas Stars used to be the Minnesota North Stars. So, it's old versus new Minnesota team. It's like an old versus new matchup of one city and one state called Minnesota and tonight we have the rematch of 2022 between the Oilers and the Kings yeah I'm, I'm still I'm still rooting for the Oilers to win that they're the top team I'm rooting for to win the Western Conference yeah they're like my they're like my second best behind the St. Louis Blues who appeared to not make the playoffs this year for the first time since 2018 the Blues just blew the playoffs so who am I rooting for the win in the West? The Edmonton Oilers I think they're second best in the West and uh, the other matchups we have are Vegas against Winnipeg and Seattle versus Colorado. And this is our first time we're seeing the Kraken in the playoffs. Ever since they became a team in 2021. Yeah, they were really bad in their debut season. But they did get better over time. And this is the first time we're seeing Pittsburgh out of the playoffs since 2006 and they held the longest playoff run in the NHL and the Buffalo Sabres are, are holding their longest the current longest NHL playoff drought so yeah I don't know what's gonna happen with the Islanders in the playoffs it's we're gonna have to wait and see I don't know what's gonna happen Carolina is a, is a pretty powerful team. So we're going to have to see what happens with the Islanders in the playoffs. I know the Islanders are strong in the playoffs, but Carolina looks a lot stronger than them in the playoffs. Carolina does go, go far in the playoffs. Like, they could make it all the way to the conference finals. Like, 2019, for example, the Carolina Hurricanes missed the playoffs for, like, 10 years. Like, between 2009 and 2019. And they met, they got swept by the Bruins in the conference finals. Yeah, Carolina could get that strong in the playoffs. They even swept the Islanders back in 2019. So, I don't know how the Islanders are going to respond back to the Carolina Hurricanes. We're going to have to see what happens with this series. I will be keeping a close eye on the series. 
it's too soon to tell because it's only the first game and they could come back from that. Who knows? There's a lot of uncertainty as of right now. And tomorrow, my team is playing against the New Jersey Devils at The Rock. The Prudential Center. In New Jersey. So, I'll be looking forward to my team, the Rangers, tomorrow. And let's hope this becomes a good playoff series. There's going to be a lot of interesting stuff happening this playoff series. I can guarantee you that. So hopefully the Rangers stay strong enough. Hopefully they'll be able to take down the strong Devils. I don't really hate the New Jersey team. I I just... I just want my team to win the series. Of course. Every Ranger fan wants that. And I'm, I'm wishing Shea good luck to his Islanders in the playoffs. Both teams are going to need a lot of energy to win this round. It's going to take a lot of time and patience. Yeah, so I, I will be keeping an eye on the playoffs for you guys, and I guess that's it. Bye.